Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to use gyro based controls in racing games on both Windows and SteamOS platforms. I'll be using gyro to steer my vehicle instead of using the left analog stick. So first I'll demonstrate it on SteamOS. Just open the controller settings of your game from here. I'm using DualSense controller. So even Steam Deck supports gyro based controls. First I'll be using DualSense controller from here select your gamepad. These settings apply to basically any controller that supports gyro based controls. I am using the standard gamepad layout. We need to edit this. Select edit layout and go to gyro. Set gyro behavior to joystick. Do not select as joystick here. Select joystick. Then select the settings cog here. Basically accessing gyro settings. So you can change the horizontal and vertical scale settings from here I'll stick with the default settings 100 you can also experiment with the wait a minute stick response curve by default it is set to linear make sure output joystick is set to left joystick and output axis is set to horizontal only this by default it is set to both horizontal and vertical gyro enable button basically this is the key which enables gyro by default this is set to always on for racing game i would prefer this setting it's entirely up to you you can assign it to any of these keys right trigger full pull i'll stick with always on so that's it we are ready to run the game and stay our vehicle using the gyro controls I'll be running Burnout Paradise Remastered Edition EA Play version Alright the game has started First I'll show you how to hold the controller properly in order to use the gyro based controls to steer our vehicle In FPS games I usually hold the controller like this and aim like this In racing games I'll be holding the controller like this to steer the vehicle This is how we move the controller let's demonstrate this start the vehicle yeah you can see it's working very nicely the default settings you can always tweak them according to your liking to be careful here fast paced game <laughs> you need to be careful it's very easy to wreck your vehicle in this game open world racing game burn out paradise they don't make games like this anymore I am very impressed by the consistency of the gyro based controls so now I will be using steam deck itself to use the gyro based controls let me pause the game steam input settings are the same just need to reorder the controller let's go here change steam deck controller from 2 to 1 like this now controller will swap from DualSense to Steam Deck controls ok so it's going to be a bit difficult to demonstrate the gyro based controls when using Steam Deck itself as the controller I need to move the entire system in order to steer the vehicle but yeah they do work tripod is between me and Steam Deck making it difficult for me to play the game so now I'll demonstrate gyro based controls on Windows platform using DualSense controller. This is my Steam Deck running on Windows 11. I have opened Steam. Now using Steam, gyro control setup is the same as the one on Steam OS. Just open your library, select the game, then select on this controller icon. Controller settings will open up. I'm using the official controller layout for project cars. Make sure your controller is selected, then tap on edit layout. 
go to gyro from here select joystick then tap on the settings cog here scroll down output joystick set to left joystick output axis set to horizontal only and gyro enable button set to always on this is optional we use the same settings on steam os if it's a non steam game you can add it to your steam library and configure the controller settings just like this but if it's a pc game pass game you won't be able to add it to your steam library without using a third party application like uwp hook for pc game pass game you can just use ds4 windows i'll just show you the configuration for it we'll be running ea play version of burnout exit steam open ds4 windows DualSense controller is connected to Steam Deck via Bluetooth mode. Just click on Edit here. You can select a basic preset from here. Click on Select Preset. Preset set to Gamepad. Output controller Xbox 360. Apply. Maps the controller output to a standard gamepad. Now you just need to go to Gyro. By default, it is set to Always On. You can set an activation key for Gyro based controls from here. This is entirely up to you. For example, let's say R2 trigger. Now when you press and hold the R2 trigger, gyro controls will get activated. I'll just go back to always on, uncheck R2 trigger. There you go. If you just want to use a key to toggle the gyro based controls, just check the box next to toggle. This is entirely up to you. Output stick set to left stick, very important. This is for racing games. Output axis set to horizontal only. Rest of the settings are left as this default. You can try experimenting with them. Output mode set to mouse joystick. Make sure it's not set to mouse. Mouse joystick works very nicely with racing games. Apply. Save. You're ready to run the game. Just make sure DS4 Windows is running in the background while you're playing the game. Steam is not required. Alright guys, the game has started and you can see our gyro based controls are working very nicely. This is using DS4 Windows. So good to see different options available on windows you can either use steam input or ds4 windows i'll end the video here i hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day